Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know today. Happy Valentine's Day. It's Wednesday, February 14th, 2024. Number one, the investigation continues into the Sunday shooting at Pastor Joel Osteen's Lakewood Church in Houston, Texas. A woman identified as 37-year-old Janice Yvonne Moreno was armed with an AR-15 as she exited her vehicle and walked up to the megachurch with her seven-year-old son. Reports indicate Moreno was killed by off-duty police while her son was critically wounded during the exchange of gunfire and a second attack adult was also wounded. Number two, seven million dollars is the current price of a 30-second spot for a Super Bowl ad. This year's ads were heavy on the celebrity guest appearances, a powerful marketing tactic called nostalgia marketing, which expresses how celebrities play a pivotal role in evoking emotions, connecting with an audience, and creating brand loyalty. Using emotional appeal to attract customers has become a key advertising strategy, especially during Super Bowl 58. In a time of global challenges, nostalgia offers comfort, and celebrities were heavily featured in ads, but diversity was lacking. Number three, have your eyes started to water and are you sneezing like crazy? Uh-oh, it's allergy season again. A seasonal allergy is an allergic reaction to a trigger that's typically only present for part of the year. Perennial allergies, on the other hand, are usually present year-round and include allergens such as pet dander and house dust mites. Read tips on how to ease allergies in today's newsletter, of course. Number four, a Nebraska family complained to the U.S. Department of Education that school officials shared their 12-year-old's transgender status without permission. The complaint alleges that administrators violated FERPA by disclosing the student's status to an outside organization. The office has 90 days to respond to the complaint and determine if additional information is needed before proceeding. Number five, Laquanda Doris Robinson has been missing from Kannapolis, North Carolina since February 1st. The 15-year-old student was last seen at the A.L. Brown High School on Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue. The family believes Laquanda may have been lured away by an unknown person. Anyone with information about Laquanda's disappearance, please go to the Black and Missing Foundation website. Our Black History Spotlight shines on Harry Belafonte, the actor and singer, also known as a humanitarian and civil rights actor. Activist. Mr. Belafonte was the first African American to win an Emmy for a special called An Evening with Harry Belafonte. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Allow your higher power to guide you towards your highest destiny. So inhale tolerance, <sighs> exhale oppression. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with comedian extraordinaire Myra J. and producer Stephen Hill as we discuss today's top headlines and more. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed. Be empowered.